up guys? It's Mega Man 3 3 here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we caught ourselves the newest member of our team, Lance, the shiny Drudagon. And uh, we also found out that N captured the legendary Pokemon Zekrom. Uh, and in this episode, we're going to be heading back to the Relic Castle. Now, for those of you that don't know where the Relic Castle is, I'll show you right now on the map. Um, we are right here in Osiris City, and the Relic Castle is down here near Nimbasa City. So, if we, since we don't have Fly, we can either go here and catch a Tranquil and fly all the way back to, uh, Nimbasa City to get here, or we can just run the whole way. So, I choose going to Route 7 and catching Tranquil. So, I'm gonna meet you guys on Route 7, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we're out here on Route 7, or, well, specifically we're still at Twist Mountain, but we're at Route 7, and we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a Tranquil. Uh, so let's, let's speed it up, because I still have Repel, uh, and I don't have any more Repels after this, so I'm gonna have to stock up on Repels at Nimbasa City, um, but whatever. So come on, Repel, we're off, we're off, okay. Now let's find a Tranquil. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, so it turns out, I can only find Tranquil in this game in the winter on all the places that I've been looking. I can only find him, I can only find Tra I cannot find Tranquil in the winter. So, I'm gonna have to run all the way to Relic Castle. So, I'll meet you guys at Relic Castle. I'm really pissed right now because Bulbapedia was stupid and didn't say not available in winter. Um, so, I'll meet you guys back at Relic Castle. Uh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. See you in a second. Well, we're here at finally in Nimbasa City, and turns out you can actually get, I believe you can get Tranquil at, um, the Lost Lone Forest, which is over there. Uh, but we're gonna go to Relic Castle first. Uh, when I was on my way back, I got 18 Rebels, and that's it. Yeah, that's really all I did. Um, so now... We're gonna go to the Relic Castle. The Relic Castle is down here and to the left of Route. It's basically the northwest part of Route 5. Um, or 4, whatever. But yeah. We're gonna wanna go here. Then. Move. Okay. And go up here. I need to spray repel just in case I run into dirt or sand, whatever. Oops. Yes, I have Bulbapedia open. Alright, uh, move, move, move. And we're here. Alright, so moving up. Let's move in. To route. Cool. For the castle. Yeah, desert resort. Whatever. Move your ass. Okay, uh, so move all the way up here. And we're finally here. So moving up. Stop, Mega Man! What do you want? What do you want? That's the entrance to the Relic Castle. You're impressive, Mega Man. You make making it full, making it here before I did. Dealing with the de Desert Resorts Pokemon took longer than I would thought. I only made it out all the way out here to thanks to my Pokemon. Alder went on ahead. Let's hurry. You know, you it really took you that long to take on level 17 Pokemon in this route. Whatever. So you guys remember that Rage Candy Bar you got from uh? that old Team Rocket member, the guy who gave you the Rage Candy Bar. You see these blue statues here? Talk to one of them. Give the Rage Candy Bar to the Pokemon statue? Yes. The ancient Pokemon statue re responded to the Rage Candy Bar. The Pokemon was the sleeping Darmanitan. The awakened, the awakened Darmanitan attacked. Yes, this was actually a statue of- this was not actually a statue, it was actually a Pokemon. This is Darmanitan, the fire- Psychic type now, because these Pokemon, as you guys noticed, outside of battle, they were blue. And that means they are in their Zen mode. Zen mode for Darmanitan switches up uh, Darmanitan's stats. So makes it so his special attack is better than his physical attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a Hyper Potion on Lance, and we're gonna go ahead and Dragon Claw this Darmanitan. Um, that also means Darmanitan is now part Psychic. But that only affects itself, like, when, like, it turns blue 
like meaning it that means it's like switching up its stats when it's at about half health. So as let me see if I can or, or you can hurt yourself. Uh, so watch, watch, watch. So he uses belly drum, and then he, he should turn blue now. Oh, he didn't turn blue. Oh well. Well, yeah, that was Zen mode. Uh, it didn't get to go into effect, but if you want to catch it, you'll have another chance later on in the game. In a little while, actually. Um, so yeah. Alrighty, so we're back here at the Relic Castle. Um, so now, remember how- Oh, I didn't mean- I didn't go that far into the- Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the puzzle of this- uh, this place is that you don't want to fall into the sand pits. Uh, some you do actually want to fall into, though. So. But anyway, this time it's going to be a different puzzle. This time you're gonna want to go around the sand pits. Oop. Uh, I guess I'll spray repel now. And there is a completely different area we can go to now, now that we have uh, met N at the Dragon Spiral Tower. And we're gonna head down here. And look at this, Ryoku. Get this told us that once again we should have, a, we should have, we should test how much power you have. Well, we will see if you can defeat Team Plasma. So, yep, we have to battle Team Plasma in the Relic Castle now. You could go down this sand pit, but you couldn't get any further than that um, because it'd be blocked up. But now we can take on these Plasma Grunts. So we got a watch uh, here, and we're gonna, I guess we'll go ahead and Dragon Claw it. We can probably take it out in one hit too. Um, I'm pretty sure we can take the experience share off of Lance now, or Lucky Egg, whatever I gave him. Um, I'm gonna give him the Dragon Fang, which powers up Dragon type moves, because that would be really useful, because it powers up Dragon type moves, and, uh, I would like his Dragon Claw to be the strongest move that he has on, on his set. Even though it already is, but I would like it to be the strongest it could possibly be. Now we got a Karaka Rock here, so, uh, Wormy, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and Leaf Blade for me. I'm Leaf Blade, uh, Rock a Rock. And that will probably take it out in one hit, but we'll see. Leaf Blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there goes Rock. Nice, nice, nice. Level 39. Nice, nice, nice. X Scissor. Ooh. Um, Bug Bite 60. 80. Okay. Get rid of Bug Bite for it. Um, we now have X Scissor. X Scissor is a nice bug type move, uh, and it's more powerful than, uh, Bug Bite, so I just replaced it. Alright, let's leaf blade this Croc Rock and that'll take it out. Alright, there goes Croc Rock and we beat that Plasma Grunt. Yes, I heard you were strong. You match exactly. You match where, what they said exactly. Alright, uh, now, take the Lucky Egg off of him. And give him the Dragon Fang. Which is right here. Powers up Dragon type moves. Useful for Dragon Claw. I promise you. It will be useful in a little while in the game. Believe me. Alright, so let's Hyper Potion Lance. And let's move. So now you're actually gonna wanna go into the Sand Pits. So it'll pull you in, yeah. So let it pull you in. And then it'll take you down here. Take on, get this, I mean, get this item, it's a max potion, and you battle me now. Alright. Let me hit, uh, I think I said let me have your Pokemon, please. Um, no. No, I'm not gonna give you my Pokemon. You got Scraggy, I can take you out with, uh, isn't, isn't that scissors super effective? I'm not sure. Whatever. Let's Dragon Claw, Scraggy, take it out in one hit. Yeah, yeah. There goes Scraggy. Next, we have Watch Up. So we can take this thing out in one hit now that we have the dragon, the dragon thing on. So that'll take out Watch Up. Oh, you missed. Ha! There goes Watch Up, probably. Yep. Alright, so there goes Watch Up. Level 38. Nice lamp. What a trainer. Yes, what a trainer I am. I know, right? Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I think I was supposed to go around that. God damn it. Oh wait! No, maybe I did- maybe I wasn't. Um, I'm not sure, do I go up? Um, I'm not sure, do I? Oh, nope, I don't. I have to go over here. Doo, doo, doo. You can't change the world without a little plane. You can't change the world without a little pain. 
God, I can't read today. Okay, so class, what's up with a Garbodor? Or Garbodor, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it Garbodor. Garbodor is a giant poison type thing. This is what the world will turn into if you don't recycle. If you don't recycle, this is what our world will turn into. But we're going to take this thing out. It's going to get a shitload of experience. So, oh wow. Still didn't even take it out. That's how much HP it has. Well, Slash will take it out, probably. And there we go. There goes Garbodor. And, oh, that wasn't that much. That wasn't as much as I thought it would be. Ah, god damn it! I didn't mean to jump. I wanted to get that item. Oh well. Oh wait! Wasn't I just here? No, I wasn't. Okay. I thought I was here for a second. If everyone frees their Pokemon, there's no winning or losing. Um... So, basically you're saying you're a sore loser. Whatever. We got a Crocorock here. Mm, I'm, I wonder, how much will Dragon Claw actually do to Crocorock? Don't crunch me. Don't bite me. Aya! You bite me, I scratch you. There goes Crocorock, awesome. And if we don't have Pokemon, we don't have to lose like this. Shut up. Uh, how much you want to bet if they did free Pokemon, though, they wouldn't get rid of their Pokemon? <laughs> Alright, well, let's slowly over here. Max Revive. Okay. Eh. Nope, we gotta go around this way to get over there. No! Okay, almost fell in. Uh, I'm pretty sure you go into this one, if my memory is correct. The Pokemon are too good for the likes of you. They are amazing, but putting the hands into a foolish trainers can be can bring nothing but good. And can bring nothing good. <laughs> Alrighty, now we have a Lyperd. Awesome. Let's kill this thing with Dragon Claw. Alright, Lyperd, you ready to die? Cause I am ready for I am ready for you to die. Are you ready to die? Oh well. Even if you are not ready, you're still gonna die. This should take a library. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, are you serious? Wow, that's 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 a troll right there. Alright, well I guess we'll take it out with Dragon Claw. I shouldn't be using Dragon Claw so much, it only has 15 uh PP. Oh well, Dragon Claw will take out Trubbish for sure. Let's go. And we'll get to level 39, definitely. Awesome. And now we got another Trubbish. So, um, Ripclaw, let's go. Kill with Earthquake, I guess. Go, Ripclaw! Alrighty. Kill you with Earthquake! <laughs> Alright, there goes Strubbish. And now... Ah, annoying! Okay, we beat her. Or him, whatever. I don't care. Um, let's put... Nah. Python's not gonna be much of a use. Uh, maybe I should give him the experience share. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Give him the experience share because I'm not really gonna be able to use Python in here. Uh, let's put Toady in front. And also let's use an Ether for Lance with his uh. Where's... Okay, I guess we can use him. An... No, that's not gonna be useful. Um, Ether. That restores 10, so... Dragon Claw. Alrighty. Now, we want to go around. Grab the item. Oh, that's right! I don't think you're supposed to run on the sand. I think that's why I've been thinking a lot. Oh, I got a PP up. I'm gonna use that Dragon Claw. Oh, it's all the way down here. Oh, maybe it's all the way up there. Okay. Uh... Lance, Dragon Claw. How much is it now? Maybe like 18, right? Yep, 18, okay. Alright, let's move. Slowly. Alright, now move up. Mm, I'm not sure. I might have... You know, there's a Plasma Grunt here, so it kind of makes sense that they would be guarding the way back. So, 
think it's done. Yep, double battle. Wait, no. Maybe it's not a double battle. Nope, it's one by one. Alright, whatever. Battle me, Team Plasma! Come at me, bro! Watch, uh, I can kill you with Surf. I mean, if you... If I knew you would have a watchdog, I would have used Python. I guess. I guess. I guess I'll just wait, I guess. If there's something useful that Python can fight against, then I will switch to Python. Scraggy? Nah. So, uh, oh! Toadie? I don't know when he will be learning it, but he should be learning Drain Punch sometime soon. I'm not sure when, but it should be soon. Alright, you're using Payback. You're a dick, but you're still gonna die. That'll take you out. Goodbye, Scraggy. You know, Toadie, I really think he, he would be a water poison type ra rather than a water ground type. Whatever. You battle me, lady. I won't tolerate people ha who have different ideas. Wow, it's basically Nazis. <laughs> Come to think of it, Team Plasma is basically... The, they don't respect other people's ideas or... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, kill you dig, I guess. Alright, go under, take out Trubbish. That should take him out. Yeah. Because Toadie doesn't have very good physical attack, but eh, still super effective. Lifeherd! Uh, maybe Python can take it out. Maybe. Let's kill Python. Let's see. Ew, he has a weird cry. Alright, well, let's go Python. Uh, Spark. Ooh, look at his Twitch he just had there. Ew! <laughs> He like shudders. Alright, let's spark life Ooh, uh, one more. Don't use assurance. Stop. God. Now get out. Alright, there goes life And we beat that plasma grunt. Now to heal up Python. Luckily, I have all these hyper potions. Alrighty. Okay, let's go, and let's move, and we're all the way at the bottom now. Oh god, it's Sharon, how, how did you get here so quick? Whew, I finally caught up. Yeah, you were slow. I still beat you after beating all those plasma grunts. You two, come here, come to my side, wow. Oh, <laughs> Posse versus Gethys, looks like everyone's here. You see, it seems you've been, you were working hard to resurrect Shenron. The other, uh, Shenron, oh my god, what the hell am I saying? Resurrect Reshiram. The other dragon type Pokemon aren't you. But it appears the Lightstone you seek is not here. Well then, congratulations, you are, are, well then, c congratulations are in order. Mega Man, you were chosen by the king. If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live alongside people, you must bring the other dragon type Pokemon spoken of in legend and battle with our king. Otherwise, Team Plasma will steal every other, every Pokemon from every person in the world and release them all. Release them, you say? Do the Pokemon who live there with their trainers actually want that? Is the liberation you talk about really just stealing Pokemon from people? What's this? Chippy and Alder, even though il Illness took that po took the Pokemon that had been your partner for many years. You haven't had a serious battle in all that time. Even you who ordered the, the Elite Four to protect the Pokemon League and left to wander the Universe region alone. Even a champion like like you now wants to protect a world where Pokemon and people live together? Z Blasmus King will show the, the people of Unova that he is stronger than a champion who, who keeps Pokemon bound. And just like the hero who founded Unova, he will be accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He will give this order. Trainers, release your Pokemon. For this, we we have prepared a suitable ca castle for the legendary Zagraman and our king. I won't lose. I'll fight for all trainers who love their Pokemon and all Pokemon who believe in their trainers. Our king has no interest in you. He's already determined that victory is against you is assured. So you just stayed behind us over and shut up. Shut up, get sis. Okay, leave me alone. Yeah. And there we go. Older, what are you going to do now? Oh my god, stop talking. God. So he's saying that now we gotta find the light stone. And the light stone, um, again, we have to run all the way back to some another place. The extra receiver is now ringing. Mega Man, Mega Man, hello, Mega Man. Oh my God, Mega Man, Mega Man, oh Mega Man, oh you picked up me, Mega Man. 
Go to the museum in Aquarium City a bit um, immediately. I mean, right now. Okay. I can hear Professor Juniper's voice from clear over here. Seems like something big is happening. I wonder what is happening at this museum in Aquarium City. I'll go on ahead. So now we're gonna want to go to Aquarium City. Luckily, he has a Pokemon who can fly, so he has to cheat and get over there. And so does get Sharon, Sharon, I'll bet, but he doesn't use it. But we have to run all the way to Nacreen City now. So, now we're gonna have to end things off here. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Black, we will be heading to Nacreen City. Then we will be hopefully getting the Light Stone. So, stay tuned for more Pokemon Black. And I'm gonna go heal up, but I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Black. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.